we are back once again with our hippo carcass in the mud and as you can see these are not the animals that we were that were here earlier with us feeding off the hippo carcass i don't know where our hyenas have gone but they have been replaced by three different species of vulture sitting on top of the hippo carcass king of the castle for now so to speak is a white-backed vulture the most common vulture species that we see out here apparently so species here the lappet faced vultures and just look at them they are absolutely massive when you compare them to the white-backed vultures with their bright red heads. Actually quite striking birds. I wouldn't say they're beautiful, but with their black and white, no, they're definitely not beautiful. They are striking. Even that might be a little bit of a stretch. And Brent thinks or hopes that perhaps the vultures will bring in the lions. And now we've got the collection of birds here. REB, you want to know if vultures are picky when it comes to muddy carcasses. They don't like to get their feet muddy, and in fact, half of the entertainment of the sighting has been watching them all scrabble for a position on the carcass without having to stand in the mud. And a couple of them have slipped and... <laughs> there we go. A couple of them have slipped and fallen in a few times and they're not very happy about the whole situation. You can see them shaking their feet in a frustrated way before settling in to feed once again and they're screeching away at each other. Right, and then our third species, Dave, if we can just go back to the ones on the termite mound. Thank you, and the one on the left. There we go. There's our third species, a Rupel's griffin, the highest recorded flying bird, flying up at heights of up to 32,000 feet. They've been recorded to fly. Pretty birds. Well, I mean pretty feathers, not pretty birds. Nobody's ever going to call vultures pretty. And they are definitely the more dominant ones over the white-backed. And before the lappet faced arrived, the Rupel's And I think over the next, the course of the next day or so, or possibly even longer, this hippo carcass is going to bring us some truly extraordinary scenes. <coughs> the hyenas might come back, they might try and chase the vultures away, the lions might come in, which might in turn bring them into conflict with the hyenas. So who knows how the situation is going to play out. I know I'm excited, I'm sure you all are as well. You can hear them screeching away with their loud voices, There's horrible screeches. All right, on that note, it is time for us to all say goodbye and thank you very quickly. So thank you to Dave. Thank you, Dave, for your wonderful camera work. Thank you to our Juma crew. We have missed you all. We do miss you all. Thank you to Alice and thank you to Chantelle. And of course, most importantly, thank you to all of you. We will catch up with